just want to welcome you to VL Automotive, America's smallest, newest, and most expensive car company. <laughs> uh -oh. As you can see, we have no show, no dancing girls, nobody dangling from ropes, uh, no jazz guitarists, uh, because frankly, this operation is focused purely on the cars. Uh, it's going to be a very short press conference. Um, I'll just briefly describe some of the features of the car. It is, as most of you can see, essentially has the side view of the Fisker Karma. And indeed, it is based on the Fisker Karma center section. It does, however, have a new front end, new rear end, new roof, and a new hood. And the reason this was done is that uh, the intent here, what we will be doing in production, is to take Fisker gliders, that is, Fisker Karmas with no batteries and no electrical system, uh, and install uh, various Corvette drivetrains, including the rear transaxle for a perfect 50-50 weight distribution. So what you're seeing here is an all-American sedan uh, designed in the U.S., engineered in the U.S., uh, and to be built by my partner Gilbert will tell you more about our manufacturing and engineering plans. But the purpose of this car is to have an American-made automobile of very advanced aesthetics and with a drivetrain with power refinement and fuel economy to meet or exceed the best of the exotic cars from Italy and Germany. And I think we can do that all with a car of very high reliability and the ability to uh, basically get parts and service at most GM or Chevrolet dealers. So that's about it for the concept of the car. Um, the, the aesthetics speak for themselves. And now to tell you a little bit about how this all came about, how the engineering is going, what the timing is, and what the manufacturing plans are. My partner, Gilbert Villarreal. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Just uh, more important on launching a, a new company in Detroit and new vehicles. It's great to be in Detroit today. The beauty of, of doing what we're doing to this vehicle uh, is also that we're going to be manufacturing here in our neighborhood. So basically, we could technically say it's made in Detroit, which is great, and, and the pride that comes with it for the guys and what we can do. So Auburn Hills would be the, the birthplace of this. Uh, we have an agreement with uh, Fisker, where we'll be buying gliders from them and putting the, uh, the Corvette Zero One engine in it, the LS9, and production will be anywhere between 250 to 500 a year, or whatever the demand will uh, will accept. And it, uh, it it is very very unique and it's a beautiful car. It's, uh, I've been a fan of it since it first came out four or five years ago and it, and it made its debut uh, the way it was. So we just made it a little bit more aggressive and a little bit more macho and put the, the power that, that it needed to resemble what it looks like and here we are. So we're proud of it. Uh, Fisker did a great job with uh, the uh, design that he initially put out. Everybody loves it and the, uh, the reception we've been getting has been overwhelming. It's just incredible. So once again, welcome. Thanks for coming.